How are you? <laughs> right, welcome to the hot and spicy at last. Now, <clears throat> a few things were intended today. Firstly, I was going to do a sort of barbecue. Beautiful day out, but it's too windy for filming. I could have used the, the other camera, but um, I know that was that. I was going to use some uh, Iceland hot chicken wings went to the freezer cook from defrosted it's the first time I've ever seen that because normally it'll say for best results always cook from frozen but now you have to defrost these so that 24 hours so I couldn't use them however I did have some um, and I'm not sure if I've ever tried these but I'll show you one these things these are from Morrison's they're uncooked in the fresh aisle and they're called ghost chili wings there's only a three chili mark on them so I'm not these are cooked these are covered in a uh, Naga ghost chili it's called Naga ghost chili marinade and it also comes with a sachet of Naga ghost chili sauce so we'll try what oh and I bought this as well as a change St. Peter's Golden Ale 4.7% been in the fridge so how's it going for you alright we have a bank holiday in this uh, country Monday using the old glass there, the other glass, the coloured one matches the top. <laughs> Smells nice on the nose. Good day to you. Nice change. St Peter's Brewery. Nice change that. Huh? Golden Ale, right, let's get on with it. I'm going to try one um, without anything. No, I'm not, I'm not personally not getting no nothing, that's disappointing. Just waiting around. Mm. Very mm, slight hint, uh, slight hint. I've altered the um, exposure on this camera to with this light here. Difficult to film in this um, daylight, but we'll see. I hope it I hope it's okay. Well, it's pretty tough if it's not because I've started. <laughs> so we're going to go now, and we're going to dip in the old Naga Ghost Naga chili sauce. That might be seriously hot. I don't know. Mmm, like a tomato ketchup taste then. Quite some. Well done. Nice little cake coming in then. Now you're talking. That surprised me that. Wow, that's nice. It's like a when did the initial taste? I thought this is <laughs> but the ketchup. This tomatoey taste, but oh, nice burn now. Wow. I 
I'm impressed. Naga ghost chili. Naga ghost chili sauce. Very nice. Anyway, how are you doing? How's the week gone? You doing anything this weekend? Anything worth shouting about? I'm just um, chilling. Well, we're just chilling. Uh, oh, I'm showing you my tomatoes, have I? I may do a video tomorrow then, if you fancy. I had a bit of a, <coughs> well, not disaster, but nearly. I thought it was. Um, I put them out, replanted them, repotted them, put them out. Lovely couple of days. We had a, quite a bright day, hot day, similar to 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 similar to today. And I went to water them as I usually do. What happens? I had some like white leaves formed. There, here we go. Anyway, upon conversing with someone who's been a gardener for many many years. And thank you for, for your help. I'm not sure if you watch this. Oh, you said you might pop. Oh, no, you pop in now and again. Anyway, he's a gardener. For many years. On all sorts of stuff. And he said, oh, I know what that is. Sun scald. He said, that sometimes that'll happen when you put tomato plants out. They haven't hardened enough for the sun. Um, so you need to, if it's a hot, this is south facing, so you need to move them in the shade and then to gradually bring them in to the sun. You can feed them something, he said, which will speed the, the sort of repair process, but he said, really, um, you know, we're not going to have direct sun yet, so he said, just watch them and water them and they'll, them leaves will probably drop off. But the new leaves will be okay, and the plant will be hardened towards the um, the sun. Never heard of that before. Sun scald. So learn all the time. It doesn't affect the plant. Well, as long as it doesn't happen again. It doesn't happen in the greenhouse apparently, because the glass protects it from the UV rays. So I don't know. But anyway, they're still going. That was a few days ago. Um, lovely chicken, by the way. But the the plants are uh, okay. Just still a few white leaves on them. Which will be sorted by the time it starts to flower, I should think. God, I'm impressed with this sauce. Well done, Madison's from the hell. Tesco is still cheaper with carlin. £10 for 18 cans. Morrison's are £11. And I'd like to say thank you to Chris. Chris Bedwell, if you're watching. Cheers mate, nice to see you the other morning. Um, Chris very kindly brought me, excuse me, he's a postman as well. Um, he told me to look out for these hot chicken wings in Iceland. Now the local one for me is Rill. Went there, didn't have any. Probably got them now. Now I, <laughs> anyway, when I looked, they didn't have any, and he very kindly got some from the mould one, and brought them to me in work, and then, and now in my freezer, and I would have used them today. Um, I was a bit annoyed with myself, and with Iceland, it's got to be defrosted. Never heard that before. Maybe it's a better taste. I don't know. So we will, um, uh, we'll try them. I may, may even do. A hot and spicy in the week. May do a bonus one. We'll see. 
to try them because I don't know if I can wait till next week. I fancy a curry next week. We'll see how it goes. So this is a nice change. Only one bottle. I couldn't I couldn't drink these ales all the time. Nice. So uh, so yeah, you're staying in, you're going out, you're shaking it all about, do the hokey cokey on you. <laughs> Mmm. Very nice. I must talk. Um, top up, I was going to say stock and top. Stock up on my sunblushed. Which they don't sell in my local Tesco anymore. Never worked that out. The one that never sold out they kept and it's still there it's nice I think it's the rosemary and garlic flatbread that's nice so what I do sometimes I'll cheat I'll buy one of them and put some tomato puree spread it on it's similar it's not the same really. god it's warm in here This is my hot and spicy towel now. And yes, it's washed in case people. <laughs> after every use. Some people ask these things, you see. Yeah. May do a Barbie in the week. Um, don't worry, you won't film me. For me, I mean. Um. Yeah. Oh, dinner tomorrow. While I was in Morrison's. Well, that's another thing I'll tell you something. I'll tell you the dinner first, I'll tell you something. Right. While I was in Morrison's, I, um, there was joints of pork and good prices in Morrison's, fair play. Nice joints of pork, you know, with a bit of marbling. Which is fat in, in between, marbling. And that adds to the cooking and the flavour and the. Oh, lovely. And then next to it, which was cheaper, was a piece of loin, pork loin. And uh, the loin is just, if you can imagine a pork chop with a bone, just they've taken the bone off, and it's the loin, just well, the bone. Um, and there's a piece. Good piece like that. And it was cheaper than the round piece. Anyway, I thought, no, I'll buy that. So I'll have to score it myself, which is no problem. Try it and then salt it in the oven. Red hot, 20 minutes, bring the oven down, cook the joint. Last 20 minutes, red hot again. Crackling as crispy as a and then have that with carrots, broccoli, sprouts, uh, steamed potatoes, well the veg will be steamed as well and with any luck I got some case cider and I'll be steamed and I'll 8% <laughs> that stuff, Whew, rocket fuel baby so uh, yeah with lashentos of gravy Beautiful. And then just relax, chill out. And try and keep up with the comments on the videos. <laughs> Thanks for leaving the comments. I love reading them. Really enjoy. Um, right, I'm not sure the fo oh, this is lovely, the sauce. Just put your hand with the glass, come. For the screen, have a dip. I tell you, it won't be long. They'll be doing silly things like that. There's a good kick to that. It's not hot. How can, no, how can I put it? Tomatoey taste. And then you get this kick, and then it slowly builds, builds. But it's not majorly hot. But 
you might find it hard. I don't know. It depends what you like. But it's quite impressive for a, when you don't expect it to be hot. You know, one of them when you think, yeah, yeah, hot and spicy, extra hot. All right, Morrison's. I was in there. I only wanted a few things over an hour. Why? People come in to talk. <laughs> no offence to anybody. I'm just laughing about it. Yeah, you talk to somebody. Oh, oh, thanks a lot. And have a chat. And, and then somebody else says, Oh, how are you? You're right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I was there over an hour and then I had a, <coughs> a phone call. Where are you? Long time. And then, oh, I said yes, so I explained. Mrs. H. So, um, we're all stocked up. Because um, most places are shut on Monday, so bank holiday. However, those say this all the time if you're working over the weekend and bank holiday thank you for your service you've got the military you've got the um, NHS hospitals doctors nurses hotel people you've got shops retail um, all sorts of stuff you've got undertakers 24 hour call I should know because I used to do it Um, all sorts of stuff you know you, you get some I used to meet some people he's a bloody annoy me that you know you talk to some people and they like they're in their own world oh yeah and they imagine everybody's off on a weekend you'll be oh the weekend's coming you can enjoy it oh no I'm working on that you're working and they give you the you peasant, look. <laughs> You're working on the weekend. Oh, go away, I can't be speaking to people who work on weekends. Go away, I say. I'm a much better person. <laughs> that type of thing. But, <laughs> yes, I work. And quite proudly so, thank you. That's a... Uh, uh, many years ago, Royal Mail looked into stopping the business for on Saturdays, closing down Saturday, Sunday. Of course, everybody loved it. Well, weekend off, every weekend. Um, we're on the old Golden Lambert Hector now. Thank you, Carlin. Burton on Trent, you know who you are. And... Um, because doing so they wouldn't have to have any reserves to cover leave or days off or weeks off link weeks days off and uh, save the business well millions I suppose but there's a clause here with the government or with the law or whatever every household in this country has to have a delivery six days a week um, I don't know if the couriers have to abide by that but we had to have to be six days a week so they couldn't do it but they would have done but a useless information for you I tell you what some of these are good sizes it always looks black on there <laughs> it was well, some of them see that 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 there looks black and burnt but it's not if you can if you can look see hang on the meat inside it's the marinade it just turns that way and I just do I do them extra because I like the crispiness so if I remember tomorrow 
I'll show you the tomatoes. You might have a bit of a vlog Sunday vlog. Don't mind you. Oh, I'll show you some of these randomly. This here, see the dust of that? It's a bottle of wine. It's been st stood to the side of me. It must be two years. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> don't drink a lot of wine. What are we having? Should we have another dip? Go on then. Yeah, so not um Ooh. not a lot happening. But I hope um if you're growing I know a few of you have said you're growing Tommy's and um hope you do well. And watch out for the direct sun. Oh and the funny thing is with these Tommies I put them for days in the conservatory first but they're protected well I did what I usually do but these must have been not quite strong enough to cope with that that sun that day bit of bad luck as well but um, yeah so they're okay um, those leaves will die off as well and then I mean the plants grow in and new stuff anyway so it won't make any difference thankfully I had visions of going to get some more <laughs> So they're both like a cherry type tomato miner. Sun gold and the gardener's delight. And a scotch bonnet chili. That's doing well. That was only a little thing like that. And I put that in the conservatory. That's staying in. And already that's, you know, and I just give it a bit of water every day. Keep it damp and not over water. And it does well. And hopefully the um the fruits of those of the labour of that plant will be used in many hot and spices curries sauces stuff like that so hot uh, morrison's if you go there fresh isle chicken wings um ghost chili chicken wings i think they're called um and they're in a like a ghost chili Naga, it says on the on the front, it says ghost chili sauce, but on the when you read it in detail, it says ghost naga chili marinade, ghost naga chili sauce. Nothing on the marinade, but the sauce has a nice kick to it, but it's not overly powerful, but very enjoyable. And that is it. I'll leave you to it. Don't go over. Well, I've probably gone on this. I'm sorry. I babble on talks and a load of shite. Sorry if you <laughs> swear. Well, sure. No, it's not. Yeah. If you follow me on the other, see you tomorrow. And if you do follow me on the other channel, watch out for there. And a few down here. But by the end of the shave, clear as a well, you can see, not long been stopped filming. So there we go. Thank you very much. Um, have a great weekend, wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to eat some spicy stuff. Bloody get it down here. A few drinks, enjoy yourselves, and um, stay safe. And I'll probably see you tomorrow, as I say, in a bit of a vlog, or a, I'll show you the tomatoes or something. Um, yeah, and then that is it. I have got a couple of, um, oh, excuse me, eating too quick, or drinking too quick. There's no such thing as eat. There's no such thing as drinking too quick. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of walks planned. I'm not sure if I'm filming them yet because I do a bit of walking. I don't film everything I do, obviously. But I may film uh, some of them. Anyway, tracking on. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the morning with the other channel if you follow me. And if you don't, I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Thank you so much.
Good day to you.